Hey everyone, in this video, I'll show you how you can create your own custom tab in Excel. Creating a custom tab is a great way to improve your productivity by having all of your most used commands in one tab. Let's get started. On my worksheet, I can right-click anywhere on the ribbon. When you do this, you will be presented with three options. I'll click on Customize the Ribbon. An Excel option menu appears where it is on the Customize the Ribbon area. On the left, there is a list of popular commands. However, if we wanted to, we could choose all commands and all of the available commands will be shown in the area below. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to go back to the popular commands list. On the right, there is the main tab area. We can see all the familiar tabs that we are used to seeing on our worksheets. Home. Insert. Formulas. Data. And so on. Near the bottom, there is a button called, New Tab. Once clicked, we can see a new tab below the Home tab on the list. New Tab seems like a boring name. Let's change it. I can right-click on the new tab and choose Rename. Let's call it the Excellent tab. Then, I'll click OK. And we can now see the renamed tab on the list. I'll click OK to go back to our worksheet. Look at that. Our Excellent tab is now appearing on the ribbon. Let's click on it. There's nothing in it at the moment. That's because I didn't add any commands to put in it. I want to make an inventory of commands that are on other tabs that I would like to consolidate into my custom tab. From the home tab, I want to add the following commands. The clipboard group, the font group, the alignment group, and the number group. From the insert tab, I want to add the tables group. Then from the data tab, I want to add the sort and filter group. And finally, from the View tab, I want to add the Show group. Alright, let's jump back into the Ribbon Customizer. Since I'm going to include existing commands, I'll choose Main Tabs. First, I'll expand the Home tab. If I remember correctly, I wanted the following groups from the Home tab. Clipboard, Font, alignment, and number. I'll begin with making sure that I'm in the Excellent tab on the right. Next, I'll highlight the Clipboard tab and then in the middle area, click on Add. We have now added this group to our Custom tab. I'll do this for the other groups. Font, Number, and Alignment. I actually did that out of order. I want the alignment group to appear before the number group so it will match how it looks on the home tab. On the list, I can easily drag it into the position that I want it to appear. Now, I will open the insert tab and choose the tables group. Next, I will open up the data tab and add the sort and filter group. And, finally, in the view tab, I will add the show group. I'll click OK, and I now have the three tabs of my most used commands in one tab, the Excellent tab. What commands would you put in your own custom tab to increase your productivity or efficiency? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.